Yes, like was she a terrible person yeah. from the start or did she just become one because you get deluded by money? Yeah. How you doing? You look very cute. I'm adjusting my shorty shorts. God, and we love it too, don't we? Well, and you know, I do love wearing shorts like this because they're comfy, obviously. Obviously. And because my torso is longer, like proportionally than my legs are, yeah. I end up having to roll my shorts up a fair amount because they otherwise they just look really long and I don't like them. Yeah. But then when I sit down, my shorts, because they ride up, it looks like I'm not wearing pants oh, a yeah. lot of the time. <laughs> yeah. Unless I'm wearing a crop top, obviously, and then you can see my shorts, but it looks like I'm wearing little, like... Like little jeans, yeah. <laughs> little, little <laughs> panties. Janties, like yeah, jean jor- panties, tees. yeah, <laughs> or like jongs. <laughs> Wearing a jong, a yeah. jong. <laughs> have Wearing I ever a little shared? Jikini bottom. Have I ever shared on the pod my completely baseless and irrational fear of wearing white pants? Are you know you know where I'm going with this? No, is this about shitting your pants? <laughs> it's worse. It's worse because it physically fear? can't happen to me. What about getting your period? Uh, yeah, I'm afraid if I wear white shorts, <laughs> that I will get a period. Like my internal organs will wait change. Like they will. But like I love this will, so much. I I will not. I refuse. <laughs> I will not. I will not I love, wear white pants. Like I love, even my light wash are almost pushing it because I'm like, really? I'm, gonna my, I'm gonna start my fucking period. Like, I be, like since love I was a kid, so I've, much. Really? I must have consumed. You know what's so funny is like something like something happens and it just sticks with you. Yes. There must have been a show or something mm-hmm. like a like a adolescence yeah. show or something. Yeah. And that one really of the gotcha. the um girls or like young women must have started yeah their period while yeah. wearing. I don't know what show it's from though. I feel I have like no, there was like, a Lizzie McGuire concrete. episode. Where she had Is to that, borrow a, a jacket to tie I, around her waist. Yeah, I think I vaguely remember that. Was it Lizzie yeah, McGuire? I think that, it was. But I'm like, oh my God, could that happen to me? Obviously, that's not how it works. But like me but being a dumb child with a... Also a, to... A, not fully... F- yeah, fair. But can we talk about the fact... Like if anybody ever doubts that you are like a girl's girl, then like... <laughs> I, Please get out of here because you, I think you were like more of a feminist at a young age than I was, like watching Dr. Ruth and like being all of this like anxious and like thinking deeply about people's periods and all of this stuff. I just, like, it's just so funny I don't to me. Happen. Also, I really, it, like, it's just crazy that like tampons and like cups oh and stuff God. just aren't more readily. Yes. Like if those, if for real, every time you ever have any questions about healthcare or anything, yes. just be like, if this happened to a man. Yes. What the fuck? Like, yeah. if men had to give birth, we would mm-hmm. have years off. I promise yes. you, we would be the biggest bitches yes. about it too. Absolutely. Like, there would be like oh. whole industries who were dedicated to oh. like just specifically the comfort and ease related and to that industry. I almost feel like there would be a way to that like there wouldn't be like this birth control and like hormonal birth control and stuff like no. I feel like there would be, just have been invented a way yeah. to suppress periods and stuff like i feel oh, like oh yes they like they Absolutely. Would like we have to figure this out you could buy we it must. at a gas station oh probably, probably for fucking yeah two dollars um, yeah, especially because the like news around male birth control or i guess like penis haver birth control penis haver birth control yeah the i can't remember what it's called but there is a form of like semi-permanent um birth control now that's like i think it's in the oh. testing phase or like is it a I don't shot know. or a pill or i'm no, not familiar it's, with it it's essentially like a like a substance i don't know if it's like a polymer or if it's like a little it looks like silicone okay i, don't, I know it's not actually silicone because totally. that's not safe obviously it, anyways okay but, but it's, it's like it's... some kind of chemical substance thing that is injected into your vas deferens um in a similar way that uh people's vas deferens is is um cut when i only make that vasectomy. reaction because when i get my yeah when i get my vasectomy that's where they have to numb yeah. you yeah yeah <sighs> Yeah, which also too, which can I just a say, quarter of the pain of I was going to say, after having watched the whole thing, can I just say that like getting an IUD was like so much more traumatic. Oh, it If only awful. because the the attitude around it was so different, right? Oh, like they didn't even put yours in. No, no, that too. But like when I walked into the office, they had told me before, like, just take two ibuprofen beforehand. You'll be fine. Just two. And everybody's like so blasé and just like, this is just another day. And then all of a sudden it's like, there's a white hot branding iron inside of you and like no one prepared you for this and there's no sympathy. Yeah. 
empathy minutes. whatsoever. Nobody there to hold your hand. There, you drive yourself home yeah. afterwards, and just like you know, no information or like prep beforehand. Yeah. But then, like for you, because everybody was so like, you know, it's gonna be okay and all this stuff. Also, before and, you say it, like, I know you're gonna say it. What? I don't normally eat breakfast. I and wasn't so, even gonna bring that up. Okay, to be fine. Clear. Then, then, then it doesn't need to be. But brought also, it up. too, like you just don't do well typically with. I will say you've gotten a lot better after the breast reduction and all of our like fluids and a, oozing. But also, but we talked previously. You were just not like a blood or injuries person. And I think that's a morally neutral thing. Like you're allowed. That doesn't make you a baby. But I think you can learn okay. to get more comfortable yeah. with it. No, absolutely. I think you had like a hell of an exposure therapy mm -hmm. over the last six but months. But also can we talk about too? It's so wild to me how quickly, because huh. obviously I love, I love breasts and boobs and tits <laughs> and like, obviously. You do love boobs, um, yeah. But like how quickly you like, I can understand, I can not, not sympathize, but I can like, understand how you get to a point being a doctor where you kind of stop seeing people as yeah. people yeah because mm -hmm. like while we were doing your recovery obviously you had a, a giant obviously giant when we get there we'll yeah we're gonna talk um, about it eventually there. i promise i know there. we're so close we're so close yeah but uh how quickly you just like like your breast didn't become like a boob anymore yes, it was like they were no longer a, thing. a sexual it was like a thing that needed to get healed yes. and like it was just... having to pack the gauze yeah. into a, a like several inch yeah. long yeah like cavity yeah like it doesn't it's just, it's just it like ceases to be like yeah. almost a part of me well and like it I, was like a thing you know it wasn't even yes. like my body it was just like a part of a body yes, you know exactly yeah um and all, it's just like this thing you want to fix because like i remember yes. in the beginning of it i was like i can't do this i can't pack this in here yeah. like, that, oh, like it well, it's so scary well and thank god you your gen your nerves hadn't healed i know yet. yeah well and i still don't have sensation in that yeah in that boob so but like i was like i can't hurt you i can't do this it's kind of like know. a pal world where like at first you don't want to kill the pals <laughs> You don't want to hurt them. Yeah. And by the end of it, you're like, give me your fucking pal yeah. food, bitch. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm stomping like, all, like, I'm uh -huh. dragon burst yes. all of you guys yeah. at the same time. Towards the end, um, like, you were just a lot more comfortable oh, with, like, yeah, jamming like, stuff in there. And, like, again, thankfully, Aaron has never hurt me. Um, you but were, like, like, gentle about it when it mattered, Of course, of course. But, like, clear, also, but... like, it's just, like, this thing that has to get done. Yeah. Like, well, it's... I just, I think, like, the transformation from, like, at the beginning where, like, it would take us a solid 15 minutes oh, to, like, the tube, get the, the stuff tubes? in there. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. Well, and it's just because, like, you were being so gentle and, like, we would do, like, oop, 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 like, one little, <laughs> like, millimeter. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> at a time. And then towards the end, you would just, like, you know, jam the stuff in there and, you know, like, it was un like, or done and over with. Yeah. Like in two time minutes' time. Yeah. We got stuff to do. Um, especially because you're, like, changing it twice a day and yeah. just, like, doing the whole thing. But we have yeah. never washed, and we are people that wash our hands a lot. But I also think that's kind of why my, my hands, hands are, are so dry destroyed. and cracked. Yeah. I have never used so much lotion my before. My cuticles are fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the rest of my skin, too. Of things that I never thought I would have to do or see or read. Yeah. I would like to share an article title okay. that okay. I found. Um, is it tea? I love drama. No, it's not really tea. It is kind of, I think they're a YouTuber actually. While I'm looking this up, uh -huh. do you want to do the honors for us? Because several people have commented now um, and we will not let this stand for one minute longer. What? Oh, yes. Yes, several people have left us comments. And we will fix it right now. About how we need to put the hat back on the goose. And like, listen, I'm with you. I'm with you. We I just fully forget to appreciate like... it. But the problem is that the hat, as you can see. Show the. She's plastic. She's, she's like plastic. firm and rigid. It is iron. It is firm. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so it falls off her little goose head. Their little goose head. Their let's be honest. Head. So we have had to command strip it to the top of their little goose head um and the command strip just like lost some of its gusto uh, stickiness as it does over time so yeah it fell off and then we were like fuck it we'll get it later and then because people have adhd yeah. we didn't get it later i can't remember if we told everyone or not huh? but everything on this wall aside from these yeah command strips Oh, yeah. Every single piece of every yeah. single piece of art. Pro tip, especially if you are a person like me who feels a little bit of anxiety about committing to putting stuff on the wall for like a gallery wall situation. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend. First of all, it does take a long time. But if you have the spoons to trace out your frames in oh, paper, cardboard or paper, paper or cardboard or something, um, and then just temporarily affix that to the helps wall, it helps you get so... such a better idea of like the spacing yes. and like the burr, vibe burr, 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 of things. Burr, 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 don't worry, Lucifer has oh, a 
doing an air horn? I think I have an air horn on there, but I don't know which one it is. <laughs> or if you um, just want to like start doing the thing, put command strips on with the little tails facing up. Oh, yes. So that if you don't like it, you can just pull it off. Rip it off. Um, but then if you do like it, we just exacto knife the little tails off. Um, and then because there's still a lot animals. of them are not fixed at the bottom. Don't. Let's not. I'm, not, I'm just okay. to make the point, you can like pull them off the bottom and it won't rip the paint off your wall because you can like very yeah. gently sort of That would of totally be our luck because we would touch one to like make an I example. Know, and then, and then it falls off. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Also shout out to Hannah for my snails. I love them so much. They've been in our cabinet for a while and I just have been forgetting long. to put them up. So we finally did that today. We also have curtains we were supposed to hang up at some point and like yeah, that's not happening. You know, we just, it's a lot, it's a, it's an investment. Okay. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Please read Speaking me the thing. Of, all right. This is the, the headline that I saw. Okay. Religious influencer. So I thought this would be a great crossover for fundies. Okay. Our yeah, normal regular bread and yeah, butter. We talk about that Religious influencer gets infection after a Christian BBL procedure gone wrong. <gasps> Oh my God. I know what a BBL is. Yeah. What is a Christian BBL? I don't know. I truly have no idea. Christians will invent a sub niche for everything. But also, this is actually really interesting that you would bring this up because oh, Hannah and I talked about this on a recent episode of the pod. Okay. To be perfectly clear, I don't know if that episode is ever going to see the light of day because Hannah and I are still working out some scheduling things. We're all humans. However, yes. Also, be nice to Hannah. She does a lot. But we talked about um, like fat transfers generally. Totally. That is something yeah, I think that, that's what. I think that's what. Yeah, this Hannah was. had a fat transfer done in her breasts. Um, but BBLs are essentially a fat transfer, but in your butt cheeks, yeah. right? Also, I didn't realize the recovery time on them is like six months, like oh, half a yeah. year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where like you can't sit down. Yeah. Because you'll flatten your butt cheeks. I know. But BBLs are like one of the most dangerous procedures. Like there's oh, yeah. the death rate for BBLs is like surprisingly high. I think you high. told me that before. Yeah. Um, it's not like that for your breasts or for fat transfers in other Why? places. Something about your butt. I don't know. What about your anatomy? If there's like veins or arteries or something. I mean, that, like that's a big muscle. I mean, your glutes yeah. and your. I, I Truly, don't I don't know. But I guess there's something about it that makes it particularly dangerous yeah um and so it's it's actually like something that you should really think very carefully think, about and like also do a lot of really good research about a doctor yeah because well no wonder two celebrities just disappear and i think mm -hmm. this is a part where like kim really hit the nail on the head when she said like some people like you just got to get your ass out there and work you I know you. if you I want i knew uh, you were gonna say that <laughs> i have been so i have been annoying. hyper assessing obsessing <sighs> i saw it or yeah. i don't even know where i saw a it meme about it probably on reddit yeah or something. and it just it it <laughs> <laughs> you and I itself. both do that where we have like little brain worms with <sighs> things like phrases or sounds. Let it be a song. Let it be just, a fucking song. Oh, it's always a song, but yeah. like we just kind of become temporarily fixated yeah. and then we forget. But also, isn't the whole Christian thing too like not to disfigure your body or whatever? Yeah, she's a YouTuber, I guess, and so she's been documenting her journey. Do you know what name? I do. Yeah, do we want to? I mean, yeah. Yeah, she's, it's news. Um, Sophia Idahosa. I don't know. Known as Sophiology. Maybe someone to mm -hmm. check out. Um, yeah, previously shared on her channel that she allegedly was given spiritual permission from God to get the procedure despite facing stiff criticism what? and jokes from social media. What in the mental gymnastics How, is going on there? As she said on her channel, I have never presented myself to be a holy, perfect example. Uh -huh. I've always vouched for the girls that love God and are not accepted by others. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Listen, this if is like she's Christian not, Kim. K, to be well, fair, though, Kim to be is. fair, because we don't know anything about her ideology. So if she is not a hateful, bigoted person, then honestly, go off, girl. Totally. Because like, I think you should be allowed to be a Christian and like do quote unquote worldly Christians things. Christians should be able to do it. Like, they're still cute. like. Yeah, but to be fair, that is a bias of mine. Then I hear the word Christian and I'm immediately like, oh, you're a bigot. <laughs> no, or like you're a fundy. Like <laughs> Which they're is not the not same. True. Yeah. yeah, but I do. I think especially because we talk about fundamentalist content so much, my brain is just wired yeah. to be that. Way. Another quote from this article is dermatologist discovered an infection on my abdomen, basically causing me to be very sick, weak, and not Absolutely. healing as I should. Absolutely. She prescribed antibiotics, tropical treatments for the scars, and recommended I rest. I had to postpone my follow-up appointment with Dr. Jung. Oh, I forgot to tell you the name of the doctor because it's mm. almost like a uh, Dr. Jung and my post-op massage appointments. Massage appointments? Do they have to like massage the... Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hannah was telling me that she got like lymphatic drainage. Yeah. Uh, massages that she said were really nice and this is like where like life and like movies and stuff like they just mm -hmm. they're the same sometimes this is the doctor's name dr jung money stop it's doctor... probably pronounced young money honestly well it's j-u-n-g yeah I bet, I bet it's pronounced young money i know i refuse i'll bet you I big refuse. money no because like carl young his last name is is j-u-n-g but it's pronounced young no not dr young money i bet you it's young money damn I bet you he changed his name in some capacity so that it you could think be. think so? I feel like Young was probably part of his original name and then Money yeah. was added later. Because. Wow. That's such a plastic surgeon thing God. to do. I Speaking of money. Yes. Are you ready to oh. get into. 
Yes. I won't lie. I'm a wee bit nervous to talk about this because I think it's a controversial issue, which is odd because I don't think it should be. No, it shouldn't be. I've wanted to talk about this for a very long time, yes. but I have been... And I've asked you to not. I have edited out several huh? times. Not even in mid... I think there's just an important conversation to have yeah, about so the commodification too. of music. Yes. And I think our queen, Taylor Swift, yeah. is for all pr- intents for, and yeah, purposes... Yeah, for better or for like, worse... She, she is has become the centerpiece kind of an of, example of that, yeah. And I think, yeah, so what are your thoughts? Or where do you want to... So, yeah, I How mean, do we want to have this conversation? Let's listen, lay out some boundaries first. I think, first and foremost, we should talk about the fact that we are hosting this conversation, or I guess, like, chiming in on what is a larger conversation, mm-hmm. really, because of all the recent coverage, the controversy um, surrounding Taylor Swift at the, um, at the Grammys. But, like, I don't necessarily have a particular interest in talking about the Grammys specifically. Honestly, so it's another music because, like, where they jerk each other off. And Well, like, yeah, and also, too, like, personally, I'm just not a, a particularly interested or invested party in, like, what celebrities are being mean to other celebrities or like, like I appreciate it for the drama and like, I like gossip just as much as the next guy, but I don't really feel the need to like die on a hill just to defend somebody like Celine Dion who like, you know, by all accounts seems like a lovely person and like is definitely going through it with her neurological disorder and all that. But like, I wasn't a Celine Dion fan, super fan. She's diagnosed with Mm -hmm. um, stiff person person syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. So that really is like your, your bones or I'm not familiar. So I don't really understand the mechanics of the disease. I'm sure somebody in the comments will probably know more about it. But um, from my understanding, basically what happens is that you're, it's an autoimmune uh, or a neurological disease where your muscles oscillate between spasming or becoming um like completely firm yeah so like your muscles like don't move um which apparently is incredibly incredibly oh i can only imagine and i don't know that there's necessarily a lot of treatment for it yeah um i don't something like once you're diagnosed with it you have like yeah yeah the like public discourse around it has been that it probably was the thing that like ended her career in an which is why it's such a big deal that she was there yes yeah it was like actually a really big deal that she showed up showed up okay cool Damn. Um, but anyways, the point I'm making is that I'm not necessarily like a Celine Dion super fan. So I don't really want to spend the whole time like, you know, umming and awing about the like Taylor versus Celine no, thing. I think it's the picture is my impression. Yeah, I want to talk more about like the the sort of broader picture, you know, like big broader strokes, big picture. I knew what you meant. <laughs> That's what I meant. Um, because there is an interesting conversation being had about Taylor Swift's um, marketing and PR yeah. behaviors and also her like capitalism and like uh, consumption habits, like, uh, right? Or consumer, um, yeah, I guess. Her like crimes against <laughs> the environment as people are calling yeah. them, stuff like that. And so I think this is just an interesting conversation to be had about like how we as the public can sometimes do this where we like give people a pass for certain things oh, because totally. we like them yeah. but then we'll like lambast other people yeah you know because like if kim kardashian is going to get shit on absolutely for how much they use or she uses yes her, her private jet and jet, like kylie then, jenner like, flying from you know one side of la to the other like that's so yeah. wasteful and inappropriate meanwhile like if taylor swift is doing the same thing then like i think it's hard for me too because like we love and the internet at large loves to say eat the rich mm-hmm. but then like when you say it like i need or like yes if i'm saying it like i mean, mean it. it like i mean yeah. that shit like i don't i just don't understand the idolization yeah of celebrities really generally but like artists Correct. and stuff Me too because like my train of thought is always i'm like okay there's something super i feel like at yeah. a certain point because we talked about yeah. that too with like the millionaire thing to billionaire thing yep. like at yep. what point do you stop like what is the threshold yeah. in which you stop like your experience on planet earth is mm-hmm. not the same as yours and yes. I's. Well, and I feel like that's kind of an interesting conversation because I don't know that there's necessarily a surefire answer for like, and like how could there? the exact point along this, you know, like if where is the threshold? If $757 million, yeah. then you are no longer... No, exactly. Like, I don't know that that's like necessarily an yeah. answer that anyone could arrive at. However, I do feel like it's fair to say that once somebody starts earning in the billions of dollars... Oh. So far removed, so far Your experience, like, removed like, from the rest of the world that like, first of all, they don't give a fuck about you because anybody who makes in the billions of dollars has absolutely exploited people to do that. There's no way not There's to. There's no way around it. Um, but also like they don't fucking understand anything yeah. about our normal life anymore. Like they're so on a different planet that you're just like, yeah. you're like one of the other people. You know what I'm saying? Which is why it's so interesting to me how this has all worked out that yeah. Taylor Swift has become like, I guess... The the thing that is always most interesting to me is the the fervence with which yeah. fans 
mm-hmm. will like go to defend her yes. when like her like legalistic attitude towards like really everything and because yeah. she like went after Spotify and stuff wasn't that a whole thing yeah um, yeah and then now the I mean there's, I'm sure there's all kinds of things that I could think of also was yeah. that like a big thing with merch. And stuff, I'm pretty sure like they were going after people who were making. Yes, because there was uh, people who were really upset with their heiress to her merch, uh, like disintegrating in the washer, essentially. Or but, uh, also like people making their own merch and then like selling it to. Oh, like, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that. like cease and desist for that and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Apparently like, she's very of fond of cease and desist letters. Yeah. Um, and like now the like private jet thing that like yeah. the same thing Elon Musk did yes. when they found out that it was all public information. Yes. And someone's literally just sharing Which the information. Which is so shitty. Yeah. Um, we should probably explain what all of this is to oh, be yeah. clear. Um, so first and foremost, I do want to be clear when we're talking about this. I don't have beef with anybody who's a Taylor Swift fan. Same. I Please don't come at me don't. saying that like I'm, I hate all Swifties because that's not true. At all. I Personally, I think like our interaction with media and art like – Is it important for us to be like conscientious consumers? In my opinion, yes. But also at the same time, like this is kind of the same thing as like the environment, right? That like, Mm -hmm. do I want to be a conscientious consumer in regards to like my carbon footprint? Obviously, yes. Yes. You know, I'm trying to make smaller decisions that are feasible for me to like add up hopefully to a, a larger impact on like, you know, not obliterating the planet. Yeah. But also at the same time, there's nothing that I can do about no. the fact that like mega corporations like Amazon are single handedly producing more carbon emissions in a single day like, than I will in my lifetime. Yes. Or you like know? not flying your private jet thirty minutes down the yes, street. Literally. So like I just really disagree with this premise that like small individual everyday people are responsible for the actions of like larger entities oh, and corporations and stuff. Because there's nothing so, we can do. Like Yes, I think it's morally neutral for people to enjoy Taylor Swift's music. If you like it, if you don't course. like it, that's none of my beeswax, you know? Um I just more so am interested in this like uh like I don't know, double standard that seems to exist. Um where like like you were saying that people will be fervently of the the mindset that like we should eat the rich but also i'm gonna buy all four of the releases of midnights because yeah. it's important for taylor to have like extra money, money? from releasing the same album so four or five times boyfriend i don't know yeah i just it's like an odd uh yeah. like dichotomy and i think it's worth exploring because i think the interesting part to me is it's she like doesn't strike me as someone who needs like propping up any like no certainly not at this point i would say like no. albums ago probably not anymore no. even when like we were in high school she probably yeah. didn't need i mean her parents i mean i had a whole article i, I can't yeah. remember if we talked about it or not but like mm-hmm. all the stuff between her father oh, yeah. um yeah, supporting yeah, yeah. her like very ready to financially support her yes through well, and her parents and were well to do to begin with right and, yes yeah yeah that like, was my understanding her dad is a venture capitalist or, like something with stocks and stuff like, you know it's very white man money yeah kind of works probably wears a suit to work <laughs> works at the top of a big <laughs> yeah. building somewhere like <laughs> that kind the of usual, vibe certainly not expect. like a rags to riches story but i think that's so funny too to me now because people especially on tiktok maybe not so much now because umg pulled all of their music off I the platform know. <laughs> um so R.I.P. stupid I, like just I, what an interesting can we just talk about what an so interesting stupid. decision like that had to be made by old white men who are so out yes. of touch and like, oh, I can't stand yes. that everything. Because also TikTok drives the top 100. Correct. Like, but also I think this is how you know that it, that decision was made by old white men who are so far removed from like yes. popular discourse because they, I think, are really under the impression that if you remove people's ability to listen to that music for mm-hmm. free, that it will force them to, to seek it out in places where it will financially benefit mm-hmm. them mm-hmm. and like, you know, maybe their artists yeah. by extension. Um, and that's not true. That's not true. No. They'll just stop listening to your music because I, people are on TikTok every day, all day because they like the platform, not because they're seeking yeah. out the music. It's it would, like a byproduct. It would be like if they're like, yeah, I'm not streaming my music on Spotify anymore. Go buy my seat, my album. No. Physically, no one's like, doing no, that. Like, you, no one's like, doing that. Like, that'd be a death that. wish. No, yeah, no that's record so label would sign off that. They're like, what are you fucking talking about? Like, literally. that's the dumbest plan I've ever heard. Yes, but that's um, what they did, which yeah. is such a dumb decision. But anyways, that's sort of neither here nor yeah. there. What were we talking about? Uh-oh. We got distracted. Um. Anyways, the thing I think that we should talk about first and foremost, I okay. guess, because it's like trending is the grammys thing okay let's, start let's just like level set and like clear the air or like explain what's going on for people who don't know yeah um for those of you who are not aware the grammys is like you know the music award thing um that happened this past voted weekend. on by i think it was it's past, a recording academy as we're, as we're talking it'll be a week late now i think yeah as yeah we're talking about this um but basically the situation is just that it's an award show for musicians and whatever but it is like an industry event right there are no fans there no fans. this isn't an event where like you can buy concert no, tickets no, no. type of thing like it's purely for people who are in the basically industry. it's like you're not nominated like you're not there kind of like, yes yeah, like, exactly but um first of all taylor swift won album of the year for the fifth time 
Um, I didn't even know she had 14 Grammys. I'm gonna be so for real. Like, I had no <laughs> that's fucking fair. idea. I mean, I'm yeah, I'm not really in the business of keeping track of who has Grammys or who doesn't, Actually but I've just same. seen it in the headlines. Yeah. Um. So that was a big deal, and I guess during her, uh, Acceptance. like during yeah, while that was like being announced and whatever, Celine Dion was the one who presented this award, mm -hmm. which was a big deal for reasons that we've already talked about. Um. And so when Taylor went up on stage. To accept this award from Celine. I've watched this video so many times because TikTok won't leave me alone about it. But she like doesn't look at her. Oh, no. Well, because she's... It's odd she the way so, she interacted with her. It's like she was so caught up with... And I understand Lana worked on the album with her. Yeah. But yeah. But like... Which like, I didn't Lana know that. so clearly did not. Like, I, I guess... Know. Or, like, if that was me I, and I was in the mm -hmm. same category, like, even if my best friend, like, I'd be like, yeah. I'm so excited for you. I'm so happy for you. Like, I'm here. I'm your teammate. Yeah. But, like, I need you to go up there by yourself and yeah. accept this because it's you, yes. not me. Like, I don't want to be... Because also, I'm going to cry into my pillow later yeah. about not waiting this Like, it's like giving, award. like, like, um, you know? like, girl, like, girlfriend while her... <laughs> Or, I don't it's even, giving like, like always the bridesmaid oh, never yes, the bride yes that's yeah thank you, you. Know? that's what i was trying to and like i feel so bad God. for lana del rey getting like snubbed you know i guess like a couple of times in a row or whatever yeah. but also just like having to stand there and be like as taylor's then going she, to say she like really did not look like she wanted to be there no but then also too for taylor to get up there and then say like like you know so many people have taken musical influences from lana del rey <laughs> Music. And then just also and then, completely ignore Celine Dion standing next to her. I like hello, like all, and I think this is the part that I always have trouble with too, because like all art, in my opinion, is derivative and based off because of your experiences. Because it is, because it is, yeah. it is. Like especially with music, there's there's only so many notes, there's only so many. Yes, there's only like, so many ways you can like arrange someone, them. Like you've done something that probably someone else has done already. Yes, but I th it's just so shitty. In my opinion, like, I'd be like, especially like you brought me up here to tell everyone like that's winning awards. Like they all took mm -hmm, inspiration mm -hmm. from you. But like, sorry, you don't get any you don't, of your you fucking You didn't win cred. anything, though. Yeah. yeah. That I don't sucks. Know. But yeah, the whole thing was just really odd. And I know that people are like fiercely defending Taylor Swift about it because the rumor is that, first of all, the nominees were told don't touch Celine because she has this neurological disorder. Oh, really? That um, makes the picture that they got for the PR even. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing that's confusing on, to me. And like yeah. more so why I want to host this conversation. And this is why I clarified earlier. I don't take issue with people who are fans of Taylor Swift. Same. But I do take issue with the way that people will simultaneously infantilize her, but then also uphold her as this example of like girl boss, feminist womanhood, oh. because it can't be both. She's right. A because yeah. yes, because this attitude that like it's not Taylor's fault that she ignored Celine. You guys are being mean to her. You're hurting her feelings, all this stuff. Yeah. When like, first of all, if that's true that they were in instructed not to touch Celine Dion and that's totally fair I understand totally. that but that, doesn't, but that mean... doesn't mean you can't make eye contact with her yeah. that doesn't mean you can't say thank you I... that doesn't mean you can't like give a little you know like I just I think first of all the assumption that like oh this was like the way that it was supposed to go down is like a little bit naive in my opinion yeah. especially like the discourse I've seen about like she was just overwhelmed or like you know whatever like first of all that woman is not a teenager, right? She's a grown woman. Also, she she's a year book. younger than Adele and she doesn't get treated the way that Adele no. does, you know? But like the expectation that she's just like a, a little girl who's swept up with yes. her emotions, who can't control her actions and like also as if she hasn't received any media training is wild to me. That's like she's a billionaire. She has a yeah. whole team of people whose job it is to help her navigate public appearances. Most uh, commonly these really big industry moments like the Grammys. Which she has been to now multiple times i didn't even know that like but like yeah, clearly this is not her first rodeo no she's accepted a grammy 13 12 13, other times yeah. right um so like i don't know i just don't really agree with this like shirking of accountability that's yeah. going on because also if that's true that they were told don't touch Celine dion all of that stuff then why is she hanging off of her in in the, in the, the photos because her they team took immediately went to go pr yeah damage supposedly control. according to like some yeah. of the articles that were written but yeah allegedly. i just yeah <laughs> i don't know i just i think the the way that people infantilize her as a way of defending her is really odd so and too. also like in a way very anti-feminist you know i would say because like i don't agree with the take that like she's just a silly woman who got caught up in her emotions yeah. and so like let her live because like she's an adult and regardless of whether we want to like uplift her and like be supportive of her yeah. like 
really being truly supportive of people is holding them accountable when they fuck stuff up. And I think, you too, know, like you can also do it in a way like it doesn't have to be like, I'm not saying like this needs to be the end of Taylor Swift's no. career. Like go off, like just keep making music and stuff. Like clearly yeah. if she enjoys it, as yeah. she said she clearly does. people like it. It resonates um, with a lot of people. Yeah. And like, if you, you know? like working, like I fucking get that. Like I fucking, no, I get totally sit at, in my office and work on music all fucking day long. Yeah. I never get like, I get that shit, especially if I could do that shit for my full time job. Yeah. I totally get no, that. Fair. I'm not even like, that's you fair. have another album ready, but also too, like it's like, yeah, like the Bad Bunny released the an album. album last year and then released another like 18 track album. Like I get it if you just like working and like making a music. Sure, and sure. like also too, this is like the thing where like capitalism fuels yeah. consumption. So yeah. like, and I mean like record labels and stuff too, I would be very curious if they're pushing these mm-hmm. albums to make more money and Probably. get them out quicker and sooner. Yeah. Um. But still. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I think first of all, the like attitude that she can't be held accountable or that anytime people try to hold her accountable for anything is being misogynistic it's just kind of offensive you know because like i feel like it's almost to the to the point where when people say it it's like the word doesn't mean anything anymore because like critiquing somebody who identifies or is a woman isn't inherently misogynistic it shouldn't be yeah like i mean if you're like behaving yes like for example um the other part of this conversation is uh, the discourse about Taylor Swift's Taylor Swift's uh, usage of her private jet? Totally. Um, because there is a Twitter, Instagram. I think they got booted uh, off of Instagram, but there's Twitter. a social media account um, yeah. that logs the information related to Taylor Swift's private jet flights, um, or like which, shares or share. I would say, yeah, like yeah, disseminates yeah. them. Which, to be clear, this is like public information. Yeah. This is something that anybody can look up. That like. It has happened to Elon Musk. It's happened to other billionaires and celebrities and things yeah. like that. Mostly as a commentary about the way that celebrities use private jets yeah. with reckless abandon for like, you know, the health of the planet and whatever. Yeah. But Taylor Swift's legal team served this teenager um, a cease and desist letter yeah. saying that this person was stalking her by sharing publicly inf- or publicly available information yeah. on the Internet. And then using comments on Twitter yeah. as, to, evidence as evidence and, and this is illegal? further bolster their case like what hello it's an odd Twitter user 65 72 <laughs> 69 420 yeah like but also just on top of that i don't know i do know i don't feel good about I was gonna say i don't know how i feel about it but i do i know that i feel bad about yeah um a billionaire bullying a college student because you don't like that they're drawing attention to something that you're doing that's yeah. like not really publicly uh, favored also too especially like, too in the fact that it's like to go to a show i think the big because the big one right now is obviously she has a show i think in tokyo japan yeah i think so Very, it's far far it's like the away. day before the super bowl right yes and so yeah. she's flying back is my impression mm-hmm. so like she's flying over there doing the show and then flying right back so i just don't like i just like sacrifices either yes. can be made like it just yes. it's just i think the between that and the way she got up on stage and accepted the award, um, yeah. it's just like the self-centeredness, I think, for me, mm-hmm. which is why I always find it so interesting when we prop up. Because at a certain point, and I think we kind of talked about this with the money, yeah. like at what point do you lose touch with like yes. things outside of your own bubble? Yes, you know? very much and so. And so like, it just to me becomes very much like this is the like rich person's playground yeah like the it rules is. don't apply like and also uh-huh. like the 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 credits oh my the, god the climate credits. the climate credits you can buy like <laughs> she like had some please, left over so she was like i'm gonna please use more give of me them a fucking that me be me being like okay so i'm gonna go over here and kill 10 cows because i'm yeah. gonna eat i don't even like beef but just using that as an yeah. example like 10 yeah. chickens 10 little chickens sure. and so like i'm gonna kill 10 of them so like i'm gonna give this homeless person over here 20 bucks uh-huh and i'm like uh, it's Am all I good. getting into the good place still? It canceled out. It's just such an odd thing. And I understand that like to a degree. I know it's like hyperbole, it, it's, obviously. No, 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 of course. I understand that to a degree it's like important or helpful mm-hmm. um, to like try to repair the damage that's being created. Of like, course. Sure, fair. But it also feels a little bit like a get out of jail free card. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> like I want like I know I don't even know what I would need one for. But like, <laughs> no, like yeah. it's, it just really does feel like monopoly. Well, but I think but also that we're at the point that somebody is doing significant enough damage to the environment uh, to me themselves. to get out of jail free card in the first place is like yeah. really disheartening. It's like just trying to like it's like the clearing your own conscious. Yes. It would be like if I donated money to like a homeless shelter every time that I bought stuff from Shein. Yeah. That doesn't undo the the no. harm that you just participated yes. in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I just don't like 
maybe try to not do the thing that's causing the harm in the first place. Yeah. And I, again, I recognize that especially as like regular ass people, we're sort of forced into this like, uh, you know, situation yeah. that causes us to have to make decisions that we wouldn't normally like of very course. much the like there's no ethical consumption under capitalism thing. Yeah. Fully agree and, and like embrace that. And also there's like some level of responsibility in my mind anyways, that we should be holding big celebrity like rich people yeah. too because also like they do have the means to not be participating in harm maybe quite so rampantly and i think that's you what know? i want to switch into too is like with these big giant mega tours and stuff too which they've been going around for that's no, been going yeah, on for forever course. like that's yeah. fine i don't really have a problem sure. with that per se but i think as far as like record labels go yeah and record label companies mm -hmm. and i think the obviously the way capitalism wants to function is mm -hmm. always like there needs to be an improvement there needs to be more money brought in there yeah needs to be this. So, yeah it's like, never enough when she goes on her album tour for this next one how much are those tickets going to cost that time oh, so like cause, like her tour needs her, she yeah. can't have a tour smaller than the one she had this time mm -hmm. so like how much yeah. like at what point like i just don't understand because in theory she doesn't need to make any more money no that's the part i always get hung up on is yes like, how much more do i you feel this way acquire? about the kardashians and honestly i feel this way about beyonce too because her tour ticket prices were fucking out of control like, dude. i just don't see why would you not want and i understand scalpers and stuff to some degree and sure whatever. yeah but that's like, obviously I, part like, of the problem i already made a billion dollars like I don't need like I'm good. If, if she enjoys working as much as she says she does. Yes. Why would you not want your tickets to be affordable? Yes. And like accessible. accessible yes. You know, and I understand that's too, the like, thing that gets me. I can totally understand how draining and like also too like of course you deserve to get paid for your no your of course work yeah artists should be compensated fairly yeah but obviously just, this is the thing i get back to though is like the commodification of music is yeah. just an art like i feel like when art becomes a like, capital another like form commodified of, to the form that yeah, it, or to the then degree it just that it like is. loses it's just hard to it just sucks i yeah. think it's well, so i feel like disappointing actually this is kind of an interesting like intersection because we obviously we make content for some of our living and to be clear i'm not comparing myself to taylor swift because we're not even in the same yeah. league right no god no. Um, <laughs> we're not even close no no um but i think like to a degree we're sort of familiar with what it feels like to have the content that you're producing that like at one time was like a passion project turn into this oh. like commodified monetized yeah. thing we do run, yeah the truth is that we run ads on the channel and we take sponsorships fairly regularly because we're trying to um, i would like to not have to work my regular job anymore yes yeah, yeah. um but um, because like, for example, the views on our channel vary somewhat, uh, we you know, literally, do you want to share what happened or we can, I mean, yeah. do you want to? <laughs> um, basically. So, I mean, if you've been on the channel for any length of time, you will know that like when I first started the channel, it was a passion project. I literally said at the beginning, I don't know, maybe one day we'll monetize it. But like, yeah. you know, if anything, I, it would just be because the algorithm likes monetized content more. I don't really care about that. Yeah, I told you know? Mickey, I was like, let's just make some videos. Like it's fun. Yeah. Like, I, I, well, we would talk yeah. about it all the time. And I was like, this is such important information. Yeah, that I, I had mostly no... just wanted to disseminate the stuff that I was like, I think everyone should know this, yeah. you know? And so obviously over the years, like things have changed and we now monetize our content and I'm very thankful oh. for our community and, and all of that. And thanks to you guys, obviously. Yeah, you like, guys are sick as fuck. Thank, thank you for you. doing that for us. But what happened was that, um, you know, I feel strongly that like on my channel there is content that i'm i do make i'm going to continue to we make have our it. Pillars of it, content. Yeah. it doesn't necessarily perform well especially out of the gate the views on it don't really do great yeah but i care it's about it content. and like quite frankly i don't give a fuck right yeah. like i've said this from the beginning yeah. i don't give a fuck if the views are not very good because also if you look at the comment section under our more like educational type videos always always it's people who are like wow i really I no needed idea. this information yes. thank you so much and Which like is why we started the channel that's, that's the whole fucking reason started. I make the content that I do. Yes. I like talking about pop culture and like cults and fundamentalists and all of that stuff. And relationships. Yes, and of course. I like the like content that. that we make that is more like clickable and more like, you know, it performs better. Like candy. But I do care deeply about making educational content Our because vegetables. it provides a service that I oh, think should yeah. exist, you know? Especially because um, mental health information is so hard to get sometimes. Yes, like yeah. Um, but unfortunately, that means that our content is not particularly uh, advertisable yeah. because anytime that a sponsorship, you know, um, gets brought up, the question is like, first of all, like, what video are you going to put this on? Because yeah. brands don't want us to put their ads on content that's not going to perform well. Which like, Understandably, I can understand. I can get it. I'm not sure. mad. More eyeballs and more clicks and views means more potential conversions for a brand so i get that but like recently we had a brand um approach us for a sponsorship and say you know we like had everything almost completely situated yeah just about um, to sign the dotted line well actually we had the contract signed Never mind, um, I didn't know that part. 
Um, but they pulled out at the last minute because they said your views have varied a lot in the last like month. And so unless you agree to a view guarantee, I think to the tune of like 50K, 60K. It was a lot. Um, then we are not advertising on like you can like we're, we're pulling our ad basically. Yeah. And unless you agree to it by like this, day, it was like two days after they oh, sent the email. Oh, my God. That's the which other also thing. I was don't like, even, what the fuck? Don't even get me started on that. Don't even um, get me started on that. But like I was like, no, fuck you. Like you already said, first of all, you already sent me free products. So like fucking jokes on you. This sucks that it was good product too. I know. I'm so bad I would love to talk about it too because it's actually good. <laughs> it was a good product actually. But uh, we were like, fine, fucking pound sand, right? Like I don't want you here then. Yeah. And I am not, I'm not going to be a sellout. Like I'm not going to. You're already making concessions. Yeah. Yes. I'm not going to put together some video about a thing that I don't give a fuck about yeah. just for the sake of trying to get clicks and views for your product placement. Like, fuck you. Like, that's not what I care about. And also it feels really bad, you know? Yeah. And so like there, there is kind of a balance that we have to walk on the channel of like, you know, obviously we want to make money. It, it, you know, um, funds our life in a yeah, <laughs> certain way. I do way. enjoy eating food. Yes. And we feel strongly about not commodifying information that I think should be like accessible, accessible and like, you know, making content that like speaks to me personally from yeah. my like morals and also your underwear are, like kind of out there, dude. Oh, wait, really? Oh my God. Just so really? you know. Yeah. Are they black, right? But like making content that like speaks to our values and morals, you know? Uh, <laughs> you're fine. I just don't want Did you to you watch. Did you slut shame me? No, I just don't want you to watch the video back and be like, wow, my ball sack is almost on the internet. I just want you to know if you want that, to put. That, that mishap we had on the <laughs> Patreon live stream. That was stressful. I don't know. Your camera has a very wide. <laughs> yeah, it does. A fish eyed lens. Our patrons saw Aaron without his shirt on when he got home from a run and everybody went wild. But anyways. Anyways. Yeah, I just feel strongly about making content that, you know, is like uplifting our values and morals and beliefs and whatever. And so it is like a balance to walk, right? That's the point that I'm making is that like we have at a couple of points had the opportunity to veer off into this like left field of like prioritizing yeah. money over the content. And we've chosen not to do that, which like sucks. I'm not going to lie to you. Like I'd prefer to make more fucking good money. In here. <laughs> but it feels good in here. No, it does. And I would prefer that. Like I would choose that every time, you know? And so I think for me, part of what pushes my buttons a little about the Taylor Swift situation and like the Kim Kardashian situation and the Beyonce right, situation. Like all of these people is just like this commodification that happens where like it seems a little bit like you care less about the product that you're producing, yeah. about the experience that you're providing people, about the connection that you're forging with with your audience and more about the money that you're making. I will say too. And I just don't respect that. Same. And also too, I'll even say for like Harry Styles and stuff too. And I know. Don't I know. even get me well, started. And, and also like one of my favorite groups, one of our favorite groups, Fanagram. The last time we went and saw them in concert. So the first time we saw them in concert. So you've seen them several times. Yeah. Because I started watching their yeah. or going to their concerts when I was like 18 And we were old. talking about this too because the last concert – the first concert I saw them live, yeah. fucking nuts. So that good. That was so fucking incredible. Yes. It was a fantastic Honestly, blend. Honestly, of all of the Fantagram shows that I've seen, the very first one that I ever went to and that one were probably like tied oh. for like the best show that I've ever seen from it's them. So good. So good. Um, And then like, oh, and then, but yeah, but then we went and saw them again a year later mm -hmm. or like later after COVID and stuff had settled down. And it was just, it just felt like a we were just grab. here to get a paycheck yeah. and like... It, did, it just something doesn't feel about good. Like it, it was I, not right. And I know, and I know it's me because I'm such a nitpicky little fucking bitch. Yeah, that's but true. Like, you are. I just, you can just tell. Like I can just. You can feel it. You can feel it. Like yeah. Like when we, like when we saw Mr. Wives. Like that shit was the so good. Like, and I, just, like, there's I felt like, like I that. could climb a building after At, we got done with that. I, show. Like we went to fucking church that night. <laughs> yes. Like I, yes, like, I could have ripped Mandy a phone book in half. Flying across that stage. <laughs> Like, but also, like, but, you can feel the emotional yes. investment. You know what I'm saying? And I, that's we've, the kind of live music we've gone that to I fucking stadiums, live for. We've gone to festivals. We've yeah. gone to like small venues and stuff. Yeah. And it just, I think that's the thing that just sucks and is hard for me. Yeah. Because I know so many small independent artists too from like, yes. I did like the Instagram thing and what, all yes. that stuff. Like, yeah. doesn't matter. But like, I just know so many people who. Yeah do like the most and are out here just fucking and also are like trying. such good people with genuinely like good, really good music and good talented yeah. artists and yeah. it's just as hard to feel like when you get to this point where you can kind of almost i'm not saying taylor swift is phoning it in to be clear i'm not saying no that, no no. we know that she puts saying, a like, fucking herculean the, amount of work into her shows the, and all that like yeah the, the effort and stuff into it is just yes. not like you know what it reminds me of yeah we've talked on the pod before about how we are not sport ball people we are not sport ball. i don't know i really do kind of hikey like soccer though that's fair i do okay, actually 
know what is funny about this whole thing is that I was going to say, like, we, I especially like football, do not like football. But when I was in college, I loved going to the college football oh, it's games. it's not the same. And it's, it's because not, it's there was the heart in it. It's because it, there's something fun. There's like a real camaraderie yeah. about like the people who are playing for this team are playing with their full skin in the you game. Got something a, because they want like a professional deal. They're trying to like make a career out of this. Of course. But B, because you're like playing for your college and you yeah. care, you know? But it feels like the difference between college football and NFL football. Yeah. Where, like ultimately at the end of the day, I'm taking home my million dollar paycheck. So I don't give a fuck if yeah. we win or lose, really. Well, you know? I think that's the thing too. <laughs> that's the feeling that it is a little. And I don't know if uh, people who are more sports inclined than I am, but I think sure. something that like growing up as when we were kids, people were on like basketball. I used to be pretty into basketball growing up mm-hmm. and people used to stay on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my, oh my God. God. Is that wrong tube or what? <laughs> Pumpkin. Also, you look really cute in that shirt today. I wanted to tell you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we're good. Aaron almost died just now. <laughs> Growing up when we were kids, yeah. Um, you know, like people used to stay on basketball teams, like whether yeah. they won or lost. Yes. They would stay on the team. Yeah, because they care. Um, like the Suns never could in their fucking life. Oh get, my god. Yeah, you yeah, you were aware fully aware, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, but like people stayed on the team the whole yes. time. Win or lose, yeah. like you had like legacies on a team, you know? Yes. And I feel like yeah. nowadays, like uh, and again, you know. It's probably fucking capitalism. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants their ring. Everyone wants. And of course, like I get it. You don't want to like toil away like you want your gratification for working really hard and being the best of the best. You want that ring. But like it just I feel like it's that thing where you don't have like like a personal investment. anymore. Yeah. Like like uh, I think that's why I like the I like the smaller soccer leagues and stuff. Yeah. Especially in Europe because like the players stuff. Yeah. Because the players like are in like they live yes, where they, they live play. in the city where they play well, and they and care obviously deeply I know about like it. The Premier League and stuff that's not the case. Sure, I know, sure, like, sure. that's where the money gets fucking nuts. But yeah, I think it's like it's like very much that kind of a thing. Yeah. And no, I No, I fully agree with that. Yeah. And I feel like the other thing about it that's hard for me about Taylor Swift specifically is that like as a person who has very little emotional investment in the Taylor Swift situation cuz like I just for better or for worse I've never resonated with her music. I've never I think, listened to any of it. Well, I think part of it is just that I'm not like her ideal demographic, right? Yeah. Like I'm whatever you get it. Uh, so her music has never really resonated with me. And I just don't like I don't like it or dislike it. It's just like yeah. not really for me. But the thing that's really interesting to me is the length that people go to to excuse and write off and defend Taylor Swift's yeah. problematic behavior when like ultimately her problematic behavior is really not all that different from people like the Kardashians, no. like even, you know, Beyonce to a degree, like any other celebrity that you could name that's being problematic in yeah. some form or fashion. And yet there seems to be this like double standard that exists where I- like poor baby Taylor Swift is just, you know, she's the underdog. And like, yeah. is she though? Like, and I think the thing that's important. Is she's not really that much different than any other celebrity that deserves valid criticism totally. in my opinion i think for me the thing that like irritates me or grates at me the most is yeah. this i'm trying to think how i want to say this but like hmm. the image you craft for yourself as an artist based around this thing and to be clear yeah. like taylor swift also too like the hate she got and stuff for her lyrics and oh, writing about and stuff like that's so what annoying. every motherfucker does though literally like everyone writes about their heart yes. being broken and falling in that's love all of fucking dancing music for the, fucking, like all of time Hello? literally like that shit is like, misogynistic like i know it's give, so terrible yeah. i will give everyone their yeah their like especially you can go when off you think about like, like that like like original not like original but like you know um like early like ancient uh music and texts and yeah. uh you know like shakespeare and all that stuff all of it's about love it's all the same hello fucking thing. <laughs> like, like, why are we sh- burning taylor swift at the stake for talking about her breakups like hello also because That's if you're so gonna make weird. pop music write about something that resonates with people which is yes. getting your fucking heart broken hello yeah like, that is very misogynistic and i yeah. think that's also part of like where we started to lose the plot a little bit is that like everything became misogynistic when like yeah. no it's not that it's is not like for that. sure like that for sure that is like that's but not fair. every criticism against yes. her is though yeah. yeah i think like it's like the behavior thing but just like the commitment to like cause, yeah like she's not a small town no she never has rags been to riches either. artist that's like, the thing that's so funny that's, to me like when people talk about industry plants and stuff now and <laughs> on tiktok and stuff and it's like Taylor Swift, like, high key actually she is kind of, like, a little bit, yeah. fueled by money and yes. parents who obviously, like, in, uh, yeah. prob- in from what I read, problematic ways, but, like... Oh, really? Well, or just, like, commitment to, like, getting, you oh, know, it's, like, oh, 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 like oh, Beyonce it. as well, her parents started, like, I yeah. remember reading um, that her dad had her running and singing 
Um, oh my god! Like to perform? Oh That's yeah, like build so up your endurance. Hateful. No, 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 like to build. Well, I guess. I guess like when that she's feels young. really mean to um, a kid, though. But yeah, like the same thing. Like the same way, like fathers yeah. have their sons play yeah. football. Constantly I know. Yeah, I immediately us. thought yeah. of Michael Jackson too, and like all of the abuses yeah, that that like, family suffered. Like when you you're like breeding a child yeah. to like they be were good bred at something, for this moment. Yeah, you know? um, yeah, they were trained for and this. And I just I, like, of course, yeah, it, it's just hard when yeah. then we're like still propping up these people on like one of the people you know yes like, and like no they, she's not they aren't you know like us I anymore think, no she's definitely not like us anymore but i think that's the other part of this situation that yeah. feels especially bad is that the way taylor swift interacts with her audience i don't know if she does this on purpose to be clear because like she's you know like on a different planet so it's not like i would know anything about her behavior or like of course i don't want to assign intent to anything but the way that she interacts with her audience is really odd to me okay. because I, to some degree, like, I really do wonder if she's aware of how fervent and, like, committed her audience is I feel to like... defending her. Because we see, like, a lot of this stuff happening, like, this discourse about, you know, like, the Gaylor situation, yeah. right? And, like, first of all... they released a press statement about that, didn't they? Yes, yeah. But, I mean, that had been going on for years, though. Yeah, a long which, time. Which, like, I do want to be clear. I really am not a fan of people speculating about anybody's sexuality ever because, like, it's just always harmful. Also, it's not... And it also it, perpetuates and homophobia. And if they're not dating you, then it just, like... Yes. The well, and, like, the truth is that people can be closeted or not speaking about their sexuality for any number of reasons. Yeah. A lot of which can include their personal safety or comfort. So, like, really, I just don't agree with that. I don't like that. But, like, she could have set the record straight about that like a really long time ago but, she's, but like, she didn't well, and so like the question for me is why like is she aware that this whole debate about like Gaylor or Hitler was like promoting a lot of awareness and interest and like yeah. consumption of her music and so that's why she didn't say anything and i think that's another great point you know? too is the commitment to not speaking out and using your platform yes. to like okay cool she told everyone to go vote whatever year that, that was nice. or whatever. yeah i do appreciate but, that like using her award speech surrounded by peers to announce another album mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. also someone did make a good point like they can't promote their music on tiktok anymore mm -hmm. so like was that a calculated was decision it that? i know to like get people yes. talking about it on to yes. like to you fuel know, this speculation yeah. about like what the album's but gonna be about and it, all this stuff and that's the thing too when we talk about the double standards and i just want to clarify again too if you're having like big feelings about this too like i guess i would just ask you to look within right now yeah and kind of like why true. do you feel this commitment to defending someone you don't know i guess or like um, yeah like, like the parasocial I think, yes i think that's the part about taylor swift that is sort of button pushy for me is yeah. that like as a person who's tried really hard to be mindful and like as ethical as humanly possible about the parasocial relationship yeah. thing i do wonder if some to some degree she's aware of that and she's weaponizing because that. like if we could and do, i don't like that if we could do that on our because we make conscious decisions and things to yes. not do that to not yes because it's unsafe. further fuel that yeah um but like also then like when small creators catch flack for not speaking out about things or talking about I things know. but then like why do the biggest of the big Yes. Why? Is, why did she get an exception then? Yeah. Like, you know, because like it, she has it, a ginormous platform. Can actually and, like, and can actually be making yes, waves and uh, like making a real uh, serious impact on yeah. like political issues, especially in an election year. Like, I don't know. I just I feel like that is a calculated choice personally. I just, and it feels like this thing where like you're so like it's like the too big to fail thing where like mm -hmm. you don't have to care about mm -hmm. these issues that are affecting yes regular I everyday did see, yeah i saw a tiktok of somebody speculating about to what degree that's happening for her like the too big to fail thing and so yeah. like somebody compared her to jk rowling which i thought was really interesting okay not taylor swift is not a turf as far as i'm aware to be super clear but that uh jk rowling was like pretty highly regarded amongst like the harry potter fandom and all this stuff she was seen as like a good person right oh and, i know like, I an ally like like and all this stuff well but a lot of what happened is that eventually you get to this place where you mm -hmm. make so much fucking money and you are like too big to fail really yeah. and so you start to or you know if you're a shitty person anyways then you start to give yourself this permission to say these fucked like up things and like tell people the truth about you which is that like you know in jk rowling's case she's a turf and a fucking terrible person yeah. um and a bigot and all of this stuff but you know she at this point is like pretty loud and proud about being a bigot and a terrible human but it doesn't matter because she's right all the money in the, yeah. she's made so much money and so the question that some people are posing is like whether or not that's happening with taylor swift yeah is she giving herself a write off to say like fuck it i don't care anymore because i've made more money than sense and so if you don't like me, then ultimately it won't affect what me anymore. It what does it matter? What does it matter? Yeah, it's like the like fuck a, you money. That yes. We talked about. Yeah. At a certain point, like you don't really need public approval anymore because no. you're richer than sense. And also, like, let's be honest, a, a large portion of her 
audience is pretty fiercely dedicated to supporting her even yeah. if she like shit on a microphone you know i so. wonder i know and it's a bad like i wonder what she would have to do mm-hmm. to and i'm not yes. saying because also too it's just unrealistic i think for an artist to maintain i think what? that's why capitalism hurts so much is because it's impossible to continue growth yes and like yeah upping the ante it ruins everything and yeah so like at what like taylor swift like she's the quite possibly one of the biggest pop stars yeah yeah of she's the like, planet like, of, like one of ever. the largest names in the yeah. industry yeah and like under like go off like all the respect for no, yeah, cultivating that but also like at what point i think that's where it like becomes like were you like a bad person to begin with i know or, like, does having this fuck you money allow you to speak yes. freely yes i'm not saying taylor swift is doing that to be clear she's no, like no, doing no. the opposite if anything yeah um, yeah but, but like yeah, i wonder that like, too jk rowling or like yes like was she a terrible person yeah. from the start or did she just become one because you get diluted by money yeah and so like you're yeah. like i don't give a shit. i like, wonder that about gwyneth paltrow all the time Oh, did like, she did start you, off like this fringes person who had weird ass beliefs or did like she they become that there. way? Yeah. Did yeah. she become that way because she got all rich and, and weird? It's you know? such an interesting. I know like the same way people like want to like dissect serial killers. And I stuff know. Like, yeah. Like just to yeah. have like an interview. Like how long have you or, like when do you remember? What was your earliest memory yes. of like, feeling? What is this about? Yeah. Or do you like just get wrapped up in yourself? I don't know. I also wonder also, if Also to be things- clear just because I know people in the comments oh. are going to run wild. Nobody is saying that Taylor Swift is a serial killer. No, no, no. We're oh my not God, comparing no, no, no. her to a serial killer. We're just talking about like the, the evolution of, of problematic to- behavior. Yeah. 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 Oh no, I lost my train of thought. But that's Sorry. okay. I'm really glad you made that caveat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I just didn't want people no, to it's run like wild that thing. That. Okay, so I remembered. Mm-hmm. As remember when we were watching the Kardashians mm-hmm. and we were doing the whole Milan thing and the fashion show thing and all that, and we're like, Oh yeah, Kim, just make a fucking decision. Oh my god. But like when you yes. become surrounded by yes people so much, mm-hmm. then like, do you just like? Is it you get, like, like clouded? Sometimes we can kind of hype each other up into certain things. Sure. Um, yeah. No, we do do that. But like, is it like you just become so, in not enmeshed, but like. You're like unaware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of... It's the the bubble, the echo chamber yeah. thing. And so, like, is that does that help drive? Like, is it actually just the people around? I mean, I will say, watching her on stage at the Grammys, it uh-huh. seems like the bubble is really in full effect because the only people that she looked at or talked to were people that she was like at that event with. Yeah, you know. Like there was no care or concern for anybody else on that stage who wasn't like part of her inner circle, I don't yeah. think. And it does kind of seem like she's sort of isolated in that way. I you know, so. it's such a trip. Also, it's very interesting always talk about me. like she can't go buy a banana no. or like she can't go get a fucking no. Red Bull from the gas station. Yes. Oh, actually, I'm so glad you brought that up because that's um, another thing I wanted to talk about. I know that there's going to be people who say that like celebrities using private jets is just like the way that it has to be. Because you can't fly commercial when you're a celebrity. Okay. And like, listen, fair enough. I get that, right? I think especially also, if I like, had that much money, like. No, I, I would know. too. Yeah. I don't know if I would fly commercial. Well, that's not true. I don't know. We I wouldn't. do love. I do love. <laughs> I said that and then I was like, ew. <laughs> I love the airport. I love the adventure. I like I love the airport, the... yeah. Also, it just, it's expensive. It's like ungodly expensive. And like, let's be honest, we're never going to. We would fly first class though all the time. No, we though. would. Yeah, for sure. Someday we'll be able to afford first class. <laughs> Maybe one day. But um, I recognize that like there is a very real safety barrier in place in regards to like. Of course. You know, how the fuck is Taylor Swift going to get on know, a regular airplane? talk about her being somewhere they however yeah. i do think that there is like an in-between okay. right i think that's a false dichotomy of like either taylor swift flies her private oh. jet as much as she wants to whenever she wants to, to wherever us. she yeah. wants to and like taylor swift should fly coach right yeah. like that's just simply not true there has to be something in between that yeah. that is a slightly more ecologically conscious decision to be made no because as you're talking about this too i'm wondering like there has to be a way as yeah. Taylor Swift, if she's like, hey, I just kind of want to be like more of a normal person yeah. and like be able to go get breakfast in restaurant and stuff. Or yeah. like, I know obviously paparazzi and shit would be awful and sure, horrible. Sure, 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 sure. But like the, f- like the energy her fans have like to the flocking thing. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you've seen the videos of that when like people think she's somewhere or Taylor Oh my Swift. God, no. Oh yeah. Like people like flock restaurants and like. That's so weird. Yeah, like that sucks. Like, That's I, very I, I, uncomfortable. From that aspect, like I get it too, but like, yeah. I feel like there has to be some in between yeah as well where like you can exist yes. in the real world still i wonder if that would help yeah. not make like the billionaire thing like the eat the rich thing yes so so prominent you're, like part of your community still well and i think the thing about it though is that like for better or for worse like she is that way right yeah. but that doesn't mean that she couldn't like i don't know schedule flights more consciously or like be more um conservative with like where and how often she's flying or also like there's a lot of discourse about her letting other people use her private jet for oh, stuff yeah um and so this thing's getting flown all across the fucking country all over the world like yeah. all the time you know yeah. and like the shortest flight that she's ever taken on that private jet was like 28 miles or something like be serious we could have <laughs> driven 
you know, like come yeah. the fuck on. <laughs> like, I don't know. I think especially like, uh, with music tours and stuff, like there was a time where bands would tour in a bus. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> like I know that it's not the most comfortable thing, but like but also come too, the I... fuck on. Like you could buy the world's nicest fucking bus yeah. and like never have to want for anything. Like, I'm not saying you need to do that all the time. No. Obviously, if you're flying from like the United States to Tokyo, then like take your that jet. You know what I'm saying? I Be get comfy. that. But I'm just saying like, if you're going from like one side of a state to the other side, then like maybe you could drive. Also the real, <laughs> the real. We could get like an electric bus and we could do that. You guys want to no? hear the real kicker of it? What? Is that, you know, that bitch is a business expense. All that yeah. gas is a business expense. Yeah. Those are all write-offs. Like, yeah, no. it's all further... And I guarantee you she's not paying taxes on anything either. I would love to know what her tax returns look like. We would never know. Yeah. Well, I mean, and also, <laughs> let's be honest, probably not that different from all of the other people who are billionaires. Rich. Yeah. Yeah. And are refusing to pay income taxes. It's supposed to be going after like, uh, yeah, we'll see. Sure. Sure. sure they fucking sure. are. Guarantee but they're going to come after my free, ass, though. We can't have free health care, though. No, God no. We could never afford it. How can we afford it? Uh, Where's the money going to come from? If we had free health care, I'd probably just quit my job tomorrow. Yeah. I feel that. You really? would quit your job tomorrow, too? No, no. Oh. Like, we, <laughs> our life would look very different. <laughs> Yeah, well, and also, too, when people have the healthcare discussion, we're just going to have this one time real quick, yeah. is that people would feel more comfortable to do the things they wanted to do because yes. you're not tied. It's a serfdom thing. It's it fine. Is. We don't have to get into it. Yes. But, but also, can we talk about how much more people would be, like, able and willing to do things, like, just in their, like, everyday life if you knew that, like, you could just be treated for, like, an accident or an illness yeah. or, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Without there are so many debt. people who are, like no, no, I can't do that because if I get sick or if I injure myself or whatever, then like, you know, I have no Fucked. no recourse. Yeah. yeah. It affects all areas of people's lives, you know, yeah. not just like staying at the same job forever because you need health care, but also like the literal stuff that you're doing in your everyday to day life that you're like, no, no, I can't even afford to risk potentially getting sick yeah. or being injured. Like that's so, so depressing and irritating. I hate it. It makes me angry. Me too. I can't think about it for too long. <laughs> People are probably mad. like, wow, you guys are probably a lot of fun at parties. Yeah. And like, and like, we are. You know, we, we are. actually are. We are fun. Because we don't talk about this stuff at parties. Well, I was going to say we are fun Nikki at parties. Nikki talks about this stuff at parties. But we're fun at parties with other people who talk endlessly about capitalism because we know our lane and all of our friends are that way too. So... <laughs> and i'm fine with that i'm fine with i it. think it's an obsession that doesn't hurt it anyone doesn't hurt anybody oh my god your video i what? just thought it was so funny your um your magnum opus yeah was longer than the barbie movie not the barbie movie <laughs> actually is it longer than the barbie movie it might be it's definitely it's longer, longer than, than legally, legally blonde, blonde. <laughs> fantastic movie i thought this Aaron movie, watched it for the first time the other day i can't believe i hadn't seen it i it's was so, good. so glad oh when she tells warner no oh she tells him off Ooh, it's so good so good i know oh, man it's I, was so, like, I was like and then I her know. and vivian are friends at the end i know the I ultimate like, feminist I icon i know we didn't spend this whole fucking Love. movie for a dude i know we fucking didn't do and that. you're right we did it we did god it. damn the real journey was Elle discovering her but self-worth also, along I the way i really thought she was getting the the gig with the, the oh, with Callahan. Oh, but also, can we talk about how happy I am that she didn't, though? Because, like, Elle Woods should not have to work under a man. No. Ew. No. Elle Woods should work for herself. Also, and she though, does. We should watch Legally Blonde, too, because you would like it. I would love it. Can we also talk about, oh, Bend It Like Beckham? <gasps> no wonder you're a queer little... So good. Little, all the half-naked. I know. That was a great movie, too. It's also, so good. I felt, it felt like we were watching someone's... Um, like video recording. I know. Of like their iPhone. Yeah. Very. No, 2000s. not even though the fucking. Oh, I'm so sorry, microphone. <laughs> their little home, um, like handheld camcorder. Yeah. yeah. That, um, what a great like. I really enjoyed that movie. I'm glad we watched it again, like as adults, because it was really Beckham? fun. Yeah. Um, because I watched it over and over and over I again as that a kid. At all. Listen, there's a lot of half naked soccer girlies, and also I. You can't change my mind. You cannot change my mind. Jess and Jules were supposed to be together. They were supposed to be a couple. And if that movie had got made now, now I they was would just be. thinking that. I was they just would thinking be. that. <laughs> they would be. And, honestly, and the coach would have be. been in a relationship with Jess's friend. Um, I have to go to the bathroom. So I think we're going to call it there for today. Uh, thank you guys for Thanks. being with us and hanging out with us. Um, let us know what your thoughts and feelings are in the comments. Please do. Um, I'm sure that we're going to catch some flack for this one. But, you know, but it, also is what too, it is we should be able to talk about Taylor Swift and that's what I'm saying. People that's that why make, I want like, to talk about it. Because we're really I think talking about billionaires. We should be normalizing having critical conversations about billionaires and celebrities and people who like should be making some kind of positive impact with their platform yeah. personally. Like we're comfortable to have that conversation about influencers, which I think is important and necessary and good. So I think we should be comfortable to have it about larger people, too. That's like the point that it's we're making. Same. But it's anyways, yeah, I'm sure you, people will have thoughts and feelings about it. So feel free to let us know. Um, we are big people and we can take it. So give it to me. <laughs> 
if you guys like the video, you can like the video. You can also subscribe to the channel yes, or subscribe to the pod on whatever platform you're listening on. Leave us five star reviews and all that. And then we'll see you guys for the next one. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.